Hello LMCN, this is Evil D. This is my fourth video. I'm gonna try to make a short video for the explaining the the file stream. The file stream is basically used to input and output data through files. Okay. Um it's kinda like um C out and C in except for C out and C in only works through the console. This works through actual files, so you can actually uh, save data and backup data and everything like that. Okay, so basically, the way this works here is um, if you can see here, uh, this is the test resource file. What you do is you go to here, add new item, and you come down here you find the text file and name it whatever you want. Okay. That's how you'd add a text file for resource. And if you look here I have text in here. Okay, I have a first name, a last name, and then I have five scores from tests using decimal. So So basically what this program does is it finds the average of those five test scores and it outputs them to a file. So basically it, re it reads in from the test text file the person's name, first name and last, and then the five s their five test scores and then it averages them. And then it outputs their first name, last name, and their average. Okay. Okay, let's start out explaining a little bit of this. First thing you need to do is you create basically it's the same thing as a data type okay so if you have the, the I F stream it stands for input if you have the O F stream it stands for output it's pretty simple <coughs> then you need to have the a veritable name to declare it so once we have that once we have the in file and the out file we can use them as veritables to access the file stream if you go down here a little bit further, you see I just declared all the double tests and then a double average to get the average. You should understand that already. I already explained double. Basically, uh, this though I might have to explain a little better. Okay, using the output output stream to set a fixed amount of decimal points. I tell it to to fix it and then show decimal point. And down here, I set a precision of two spots. In other words, after the decimal, there will only be two other numbers, ones and hundreds. If I had to put a three there, um, there'd be ones, hundreds, and thousands. Okay, you get the idea. Um, here, we're actually uh, using not the file stream, but the. You can remember the difference here. Um, the output, the right, we're just printing to the screen with the count, C out. This just prints to the screen, it's not the same as this, or the output, or out file. There's two different things. Okay, this actually prints to real files. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking for input, we're storing in the input file stream, the first name and the last name. And we're outputting the first putting like basically putting the student name format and then the first name and last name of the student. Okay, and as we move down you can see we were inputting all the tests, putting all of them into the, the in file stream. Okay, and then we're gonna output the format again. And then all the test scores. So basically pull them in from the file, then output them to another file. And in this case, you can see up here, this is where we open the file. Every time you use um, a file stream, you gotta say dot open in order to start using it. This goes for input and output. Okay. And you also gotta make sure you close it whenever you open an input or output file stream.
so this has to be at the end. So it's good to get in good habit of opening and closing right away. That way you know that you know it's open and it's cl and it's closed. There's not going to be any errors, and then you can do all the work in between. Okay, so right here I'm using the output file stream to print out all the test scores. I'm going to find the average by using an average function. Basically take all five tests, add them together, and then divide them by five, which is the amount of tests there is. That's how you get an average. Okay. And I'm using the output stream to print out the average test score. I'm using the input-output manip manipulate header to decide how many spaces in all, including the string average, it's going to show. Okay. So basically what that does, it decides you know, it'll take the number for average, which should probably be like three spots with a decimal. Three or four spots. So two on the, the whole number side and then two on the decimal side. So right there we have four spots plus two blanks. So there would be two there would be two blanks before it prints this out and then it would print the average. Okay, so basically that's what that six does. S and set W. <coughs> that's pretty much it for the, the file stream here. I'll show you guys what it does. Like I said, here's the the text file that it's reading from. Okay, Andrew Miller. 87.50, 89.00, 65.75, 37, and then 98.58. So those are all your scores. Okay, now when I run the program, it'll output all that stuff to another file. It's not going to print it to this. We're not using the C out. We're using, we're printing to a file, not to this. So basically, I just put uh, C out to let you know that it, it did process the data but it's in a, it's in your application directory. So in other words you gotta find the directory of this application to find the C out file. So in that case it would be right here. Okay right here's C out <coughs> and you can see what it prints out. It prints out student name, Andrew Miller test scores and then all the test scores and then the average score and then the average score that's pretty simple and that's everything for uh, file streams hope you enjoyed the video have a great day